welcome to one and all myself vasanta department of computer science gopal swami pu college my sir today i want to start with the last session of sixth session that is last session of constructor and destructor chapter already we explained regarding what do you mean by constructor what do you mean by destructor how exactly to go to execute what are the rules to write a constructor regarding that already we explained today i am to start with the next concept on the chapter constructor and destructor that is constructor overloading constructor overloading already you come to know what do you mean by constructor it is a special member function used to initialize the object of a class automatically and the constructor na na wo initialization purpose koskara use martive then what do you mean by overloading overloading is nothing but here more than one function two or more function names are same but differ in number of arguments or data type of the arguments that i am to explain for example add is the function name here i am to take int comma int one more function i am taking add only int comma float one more function i am taking add only float comma float then what is the main difference here all the three function name are same add 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 only but here i am having two arguments here also i am having two arguments here also i am having two arguments but what is the main difference here in both the arguments are integer data type whereas here one is int and one more is float whereas in the third case both the arguments are float data type one more i am to take add only here int comma int comma int then what is the difference for in with first as well as last here two arguments but here i am having three arguments whereas overloading means two or more function names are same but differ in number of arguments number of arguments so different irbodu or the data type of the arguments arguments do data type po different irbodu that can be called as overloading constructor is a special member function used to initialize the object of a class automatically initialization purpose koskara constructor na use martivi whereas overloading means two or more function name are same but differ in number of arguments or data type of the argument then what do you mean by constructor overloading constructor overloading means the compiler will decide which version of the constructor to be executed when we have to create object of a class and the one day program only one day kinta jaasti constructor na i use maadabodu whereas in the previous class i explained regarding destructor there i told you destructor cannot be overloaded whereas constructor can be overloaded andre one program alli one kinta jaasti constructor na navu use maadabahudu then also it can be execute depending the compiler will decide which version of the constructor to be execute depending upon the data type arguments the compiler will decide that is nothing but your constructor overloading constructor used to initialization purpose whereas overloading refers to two or more function names are same constructor overloading anuvaga more than one constructor can be used in the same program the compiler will decide which version of the constructor to be execute this i'm explained with one simple example program how to write a how to find a simple interest by using constructor overloading write a program write a program to find simple interest that and this concept i'm to explain with the example program especially to find simple interest then as usual we to start with the header files ash include conio.h this is a supporting header file for clear screen as well as for get ch function next header file ash include io stream .h this is a supporting header file for 
seen as well as see out function. What is my aim? To find simple interest. That's why I am going to take the class name as class, class name yes I am to write. Class name I am written as SI. Then in private section, we are declaring the variable. To find simple interest, what is the formula? P into T into R whole thing divided by 100. This is a formula to find simple interest. Simple interest equals principal amount, time, rate of interest, whole thing divided by 100. From that I can find simple interest. Then which are the variables we required for this program? We required P, T as well as R. This may be in fractional format. That's why I am to declare this variable in float format. And then again float tell integer but like in float data type to go float which are the variable are required p comma t comma r to store the result si sim one i'm to write simple interest because class name i written as si now you look at si look at si and that's why i took sim simple interest Simple interest equals PTR divided by 100. These are the variables we are declared. Now, in public section, we are writing the function. How to write the function to find simple interest? First, SI. Empty bracket. Which type of constructor it is? It is a default constructor. How I can say it is a default constructor? Because it does not have any argument inside this. Here I can create one default constructor. It is default. Default constructor it is. Next one more function I am taking. SI only. Class name and function name are same. See here also function name is SI. Class name is also SI. Here once again the function name is SI. Here I am take float x comma float y comma float z. How many arguments here we have? Three arguments. That's why it can be called as parameterized parameterized constructor. It is default constructor whereas here parameterized constructor. How I can say it is a constructor? Class name and function name are same here. Here also class name and function name are same. Here I am initializing that is p equals x, t equals y, r equals z. Then close this function. How many functions here we have took? To, totally whereas in the first case default constructor second one is parameterized constructor constructor overloading means more than one constructor can be used here how many constructor are used first one is default constructor and the second one is parameterized constructor two constructors we are used next i am going to calculate the value i am going to compute the value what Compute function. It is a regular function. Whereas the first two are the constructor function. And here it is a regular function. Here what I am doing? I am going to do the calculation. What is the calculation I required? SIMI. Simple interest equals P into T into R. Whole thing divided by 100. Then display the value of the simple interest. See out. Display the value. Simple interest equals simple interest equal display the value s i m i then close this function then remaining which one i have to close i have to close class default constructor here i close it parameterized constructor here i close it and this is compute function also we are closed it the remaining is to close class to close class flower bracket then semicolon more than one Constructor can be used in the same program. That is nothing but constructor overloading. The compiler will decide which version of the constructor to be executed. And the compiler decide Martane. Either constructor, either constructor. Either depending upon the arguments, data type, yaw constructor first execute on peko. Yaw the other yaw the execute on peko. The compiler decide Martane. Next, I am going to write the main program. Void me. Void me. Then now create the object. How to create object? SI is the 
SI is the class name. Object 1 I am to create. Object 1 in a create model tashna yaud execute agate default constructor execute agate automatically this default constructor will going to execute. Next I am to create one more object yes si object 2 inside the bracket I am going to send the arguments values whichever values how much values you want you can give 10 20 30 for example for simplicity I am to write the value 10 20 30 it means that for p it will take 10 for t it will take 20 r it would take 30 now is it clear then when i am to write when i am to create this object this second constructor function that is parameterized constructor will execute automatically first one the object one na create maadta shna default execute agate object two na create maadta shna parameterized constructor execute agate then with the help of this object two i am going to call the compute function I'm to call the compute function then next get ch close the main program which you open this is regarding your constructor overloading then what exactly you come to know in this session what do you mean by constructor overloading constructor overloading and constructor more than one constructor can be used one the default to parameterized to copy yaud bekadru kuda one dikinta jaasti constructor na nevu use maadabodu one day program ali that is nothing but your constructor overloading on this case the compiler will decide which version of the constructor it will going to execute i am to recall the entire chapter because this is the last session of this chapter whereas on this chapter you have to study what do you mean by constructor what are the rules to write constructor which are the types of constructor? What do you mean by destructor? What do you mean by constructor overloading? I am going to recall everything. Constructor is a special member function used to initialize the object of a class automatically. Some rules we have to follow while writing constructor. The first rules is class name and function name are same. See here, class name and function name are same. First point. Second one, it should be declared in public section compulsory the constructor function has to be declared in public section only it does not have any written type specifier yav the written type specifier irodila not even word also and with that it cannot be identified the constructor function where exactly in the memory it is present that also we cannot able to identify the memory address of the constructor cannot be identified and this constructor function will execute when you have to create object of a class object in a create maadu takshna constructor function execute agate these are the rules we have to follow while writing constructor which are the types of constructor three types the first one is default constructor second one is parameterized constructor and the third one is copy constructor default constructor and the arguments ill day irodu and empty bracket idre adu naavu default constructor anta karithivi then parameterized constructor and the bracket alli arguments idre values idre naavu adana parameterized constructor anta karithivi then what do you mean by copy constructor copy constructor are used to copy one existing object to another exist another new object already you know object you know value na in the object to copy model work now copy constructor na use my TV whereas parameterized constructor can be invoked in three methods one is implicit method explicit method and initialization of the time of declaration by using assignment operator in three methods we can able to call parameterized constructor that already we explained the next concept is destructor destructor is also a special member function this automatically execute when we are going to destroy the object of a class the main function of destructor is used to deallocate the memory space which is allocated by the constructor constructor mulka in in memory allocate agide adna deallocate maadodakke naavu destructor na use maartive as well as to write destructor compulsory way to use tiled operator andre destructor na bari beko antare some rules we have to follow class name and function name are same constructor name kuda same irutte destructor name kuda same irutte but destructor le main difference en andre it is preceded by tiled operator and this destructor cannot be overloaded but constructor can be overloaded constructor na wo overload maadabodu are destructor na na overload maadodak agalla now is it clear 
whereas destructor is a special member function used to deallocate the memory space whereas constructor is also a special member function used to initialize the object of a class whereas constructor overloading means two or more constructor names two or more constructor can be there in the same program the compiler will decide which version of the constructor to be execute compiler decide martane yav version of constructor execute maadbeku yav execute agutte anodra bage compiler decide martane and destructor cannot be overloaded constructor can be overloaded when you come on constructor overloading for initialization purpose constructor overloading represents two or more function name are same but differ in number of arguments differ in number of arguments as well as or it may be data type arguments different irbodu athwa data type different irbodu ee case alle nodi ill arguments zero arguments yavde arguments irodilla idralli eshtu arguments ide more arguments ide all the three arguments are float data type whichever data type you want you can take adre construct compiler en martane ill argument illa annuvaga argument illade iru object na baru takshana first month execute agutte ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೂರು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಇರೋ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮಂತ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಟೈಪ್ ದ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವೈರ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ದ ವೇಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಮೇ ಗೋಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟರ್ write the rules to write constructor anta 5 marks ke kelbodu constructor andre eno yav yav rules na follow up maadbeku while writing constructor anta 5 marks ke kelbodu adu one question athwa what is default constructor write the syntax and example anta kelbodu what do you mean by default constructor syntax and example athwa what do you mean by parameterized constructor write the syntax and example anta kelbodu athwa what is copy constructor what is copy constructor write the syntax and example anta kelbodu andre first question kelodu constructor andre eno rules athwa default constructor andre eno adrudu syntax example athwa what do you mean by parameterized constructor syntax and example otherwise what do you mean by copy constructor syntax and example with that they may want to ask one more question also which are the methods on which method the parameterized constructor can be invoked write the syntax and example anta kuda kelbodu and the parameterized constructor ro yav yav tara invoke madbodu yav yav tara execute madbodu that is implicit call as well as explicit call as well as initialization at the time of as declaration by using assignment operator adar bage kelbodu otherwise for five marks they might ask what do you mean by destructor explain with one example program anta kuda kelbodu athwa what do you mean by destructor write the syntax and example kuda kelbodu ee chapter alli ninge programs kalu kuda thumba important irutte andre destructor anadige program kaltirbeku constructor gu kuda program kaltirbeku otherwise in the exam they might ask what do you mean by constructor overloading explain with one example program anta kuda kelbodu on that case you have to write the example also on that time for constructor overloading for definition carries one marks and the program carries four marks weightage these are the main important things you have to study on this chapter thank you for all of you we will next class will meet with a new chapter thank you for all of you once again